Only stick around if you want to achieve your goals this coming year or this year, depending on when you're watching this video. So I actually want to share some tips with you guys on this topic because thinking about it, I have a history of smashing my goals. So I want to let you guys know what are some of the principles and practices that I do to achieve that. For example, when I was starting my online business, I had a goal of just making $29 for the month. And I ended that year making over $100,000 with my beauty brand while I was in college. So I guess it's safe to say that, yeah, I did actually achieve that goal and some. So the reason why my goal was only $29 for the month wasn't because I was small-minded or I was thinking small. <laughs> the reason why it was only $29 was because I was trying to be realistic. Being that I had no experience, I had not too long ago moved into the country of the USA. I'm from Jamaica, if my necklace isn't making it very obvious. <laughs> So it's not like I had a bunch of family and friends to support it once it was started and I had no influence. I didn't have a whole bunch of followers and stuff. So I was like, if I could just make the $29 to just pay to host the website on the internet, then that would be good. And another example is I wanted to end 2022 with 5,000 followers for my page CEO Tabia, which is on Instagram, which is like the IG page for this YouTube channel where I give and shop and worship advice and small business tips based on my personal experience and right now is December the 21st or 22 and we're actually sitting at 80,000 followers and that was all organic by the way no ads no buying shout outs no nothing that was just me posting and growing the page and the reason why i put the goal at 5000 was because i was starting with under 1000 followers when i started this year so again i wanted to set something realistic being that everyone was saying ig is dead and you can't grow as fast as you used to in the past but turns out i grew this page faster than my business page for my physical products which actually is sitting at over a hundred thousand followers right now if you're still not convinced to watch this video i don't know what to say how about i'll buy you the earth when it goes on sale <laughs> how much does the earth cost i'm gonna buy the entire earth and be king mm. by the way i am tabia and let's get right into the video so the first tip that I have to help you achieve your goal is to understand what a goal is not. A lot of times, just the way people perceive goals is one of the reasons why they don't achieve it. So a goal is not a wish. It is not something that is nice to have. So some people be like, you know what? I'm gonna put down a goal at the beginning of the year that I'm going to buy a Rolls Royce. I'm going to make a million dollars. I'm going to quit my job. And they're not saying these things because they believe that they genuinely can do it they're just writing down things that they wish they could wave a magic wand and it happens yeah so they're like it would be nice if i move out of my house and move into an apartment so i'm gonna put moving to my own apartment as a goal or they're like oh it would be nice to make six figures so i'm gonna put down that right and so because deep down in their heart they know that it's kind of unrealistic the things that they're putting down they don't even bother to do anything to try to achieve it but if you set a goal that you know is realistic something that you know okay if i apply myself i might actually achieve this then you're more likely to do something about it so at that time when i put the goal when i was starting my online business that i only wanted to at least make 29 dollars for the month as a goal that wasn't scary to me i didn't feel like that was impossible so i had no problem actually getting up and trying to achieve that and with me trying to achieve that showing up every day trying to just get that 129 dollars what actually happened is just that first month i made one thousand dollars right because I I put something that I felt like I could achieve if I applied myself and that is the same thing that you want to do when you're doing goals you don't necessarily want to put your goals too low nor too high just put it somewhere where you feel like if I apply myself I could actually achieve this and then you're more likely to not look at it as I know not even with my best effort I'm gonna achieve this so put things that are realistic and things that you know if I apply myself the right way I actually can achieve this so if you understood what I just said 
or you agree with what I just said, put a trophy emoji in the comment section below just to let me know that you guys are feeling that first tip. So tip number two is to have deadlines and due dates. Sometimes you will never do something until you give it a date and a time. For example, you're like, oh, I'm going to start a business this year or I'm going to start a business next year or I'm going to file for an LLC or I'm going to start working out. But because you didn't actually say by March the 1st or I will do this January the 15th or you didn't give it a date, what happens is you have it in the back of your mind that, oh, I'm going to do this this year or I'm going to do this this month and you never actually get around to doing it because you keep being like yeah I know I'm gonna do it this year this year but because you didn't tell yourself exactly when this year or this month what ends up happening is the entire year passed you and you actually didn't do anything and on top of like giving things like a date you also want to give things a time as well so when you're doing your day-to-day to-do list you want to actually give things a time so for example you know how it goes when you're like today I'm going to create content. For example, you're like, I'm going to create content for my social media. You wake up, you make breakfast, you read books, you go to the gym, you do all types of stuff. And then the entire day passes you by. And at 7 PM, you're like, oh, I guess it's too late. I can't create content anymore. I'll just do it tomorrow. Tomorrow comes again. You wash clothes, you feed the dog, you walk the dog, you do everything except doing what you were supposed to do. So to combat that, what I found was helpful for me as a procrastinator <laughs> is actually saying, okay, by 12 p.m., I will be in front of the camera recording my content. So when I give things a time, I am more likely to get it done versus having it at the back of my mind and being like, oh, today I'm going to do it. Because once you give something a specific time, if you're like 1 p.m. today, I'm going to do my content, what's gonna happen is you're going to wake up, get ready to be there in front of the camera by 1 p.m. versus if you are like, I'll do it today. Today is too broad. You need to give yourself a time so that all of your actions leading up to that time will align with that specific thing that you have to do. So I'm going to give you guys a bonus tip that's not really related to my next tip nor this tip, but I'll just throw it somewhere here in the middle. And that is give yourself a word or th up to three words for the year. So my words for the year is discipline, consistency, and done. Now they aren't pretty or fancy words, but those are words that I want to always keep at the back of my mind throughout the year so that I could actually achieve my goals. So the word done is there because I'm a perfect perfectionist and that is not something to be proud of it's actually a personality flaw because your goals will be delayed so bad because you're busy trying to make something perfect instead of actually just getting it done you don't get results from what you're perfecting or what you're working on you only get results from what is actually done so for the next year coming i don't want to focus on making things perfect i don't want to focus on doing things the best of my ability i just want it to be done <laughs> if you watch my last video that i upload you will notice that there's like lighting change throughout the video like it was inconsistent lighting this scene is more yellow this scene is more blue normally if something like that happened i would have recorded the entire video over not this time i also created like this workshop i called it a master class where i teach people like how to find vendors for their online business i'll put a link in the description below if you guys are interested in that as well if you want to start an online business in this upcoming year but normally i would have spent time to make the slides pretty i would have made it pink i would have put illustrations and did all these massive crazy things but what I did this time was I got a white plain background and I put black text on it and I just kept moving because I've learned that done is better than perfect because all perfect is going to do is delay your success so as you could see I'm already implementing some of these things and we're not yet into the new year so another word there was consistency so if I'm actually getting things done, then I could be consistent. If you're busy making things perfect, it can't be consistent. And another word for me was discipline because I struggle with procrastination a lot and I'm going to overcome that this year. And I already started to overcome procrastination. So if you guys want a video on how I'm overcoming procrastination, just put the word procrastination in the comments and I will create a video on that. So moving on to my next big tip, your yearly, monthly, weekly, and daily goals must be connected. So for example, let's 
let's say your goal is to lose weight and have a six pack, right? Which would mean that you need to be going to the gym X amount of time for the month, week, and day. If your daily life, your daily goals are and to-do list look like playing the piano, reading, all these things, it's not necessarily connected to that big goal that you have. So you have to make sure that the big goal that you have for like the entire year is broken down into monthly, weekly, and daily goals. And it's all connected to help you reach to that big goal that you set for the year. Because what's not going to happen is you're not going to achieve your goals like at the end of the year, right? It's everything you do on a day-to-day -day basis that at the end of the year will result in you getting the things that you actually want if that makes sense so for example for people that are more business minded and finance minded if you're like i want to make six figures for the year but your monthly goal is to just make one thousand dollars you're not going to hit that goal because on a monthly weekly basis that does not match it doesn't add up so whatever your yearly goal is you have to make sure that it's also connected to your monthly goals your weekly goals and your daily to-do list which leads me to my next tip which is to write down your daily to-do list it is very important not to just have things in the back of your mind that you're going to do them which is kind of like circling back to the first point a little bit you want to write down things that you have to do for the day because when you're able to see it and face it you're more likely to do it versus when you have a bunch of stuff going on in the back of your mind so i've tried using notion i've tried using google calendar i've tried using all of these things as Sana, Airtable, I tried using them all and I have failed miserably using those things to keep me on track and doing the things that I'm supposed to do. So what I start doing now is I have a whiteboard on my wall in my room, which is right over there and what I do is I will write down on a daily basis what do I need to do for the day and leave it there so what happens is every time I'm in my room which is where I spend majority of my time I'm faced with the fact that hey you have these things to do it's like this annoying little thing on the wall and that way I actually get stuff done because it's like right there in my room in my face big and bold 24 7 so if I'm watching TV and I turn to the side and I see that I have a whole bunch of stuff to do that I have done yet it's almost haunting and then i'm like Ugh, i gotta get to it so that works for me because when i put stuff in notion and all these other places what happens is i'll spend time making it cute making it nice and getting my dopamine hit um from doing that but at the end of the day i won't log back <sighs> my accent almost came out log back into these things to check my to-do list i won't do it like i said i'm a procrastinator i'll be like okay i'll go in there and see what i have to do for the day and I don't open them back. So having it in my face on the wall, I have no choice but to be faced with the fact that I have some things to do. So if you're someone like me where like you can't keep up to date with all these Google calendars and logging into Notion and Airtable and all these apps, if the app method doesn't work for you, then try the whiteboard method and thank me later. Cause you know what they say, out of sight, out of mind. And if you can't remember to open these apps and put it back in front of your site, then you need to do something that is very, very obvious. Another way how to make it obvious too is to get those to-do list planner sheets, the ones that you could tear off that doesn't have a cover. Put it somewhere close to like where you would keep your phone or your tablet or laptop. Put it beside something or in an area where you know you go often so that whenever you go over there, you will be able to see the things and you'll be able to do it. This isn't my typical type of video that I record. So if you guys want me to do more videos like this, comment more or yeah comment more <laughs> and that's it for this video bye